Welcome back everybody. In the previous video, I have discussed the table design of customers, roles and users. Here I have inserted a dummy value to users table and customers table. Here in the users table, the role ID is 1. This means it is a customer because in roles table, I have set if the role ID is 1, then the role is customer. So for this particular user, the corresponding details I have stored inside the customers table correct so I will create an API to fetch the user details based on role ID and user ID for that I have created a Laravel project and after creating the Laravel project in the users.php which is situated inside app models folder you can see user.php here I have set protected primary key as user ID because in the users table, I have set the user ID column as primary key. That's why here I have set primary key as user ID. After that, in the HTTP folder inside controllers folder, I have created a class app controller, which is extending the controller. And here I have created a function get user details, which is taking two parameter user ID and role ID. And after that, here I am calling the get user details method which I have created inside app model class which is situated inside the models folder. Now if I go to models app model then you can see here I have created this get user details function. So whenever I am calling this get user details function which is situated or which is present inside app model I am passing two parameters user id and role id. Now let me move to app model. Let me explain about this function get user details. Here it is taking two parameter user ID and role ID. Now I'm checking if the role ID is one. This means if the user is a customer because I discussed in the earlier video that later on the role may be a vendor user. It may be a delivery boy user. So I am segregating based on role. So if the role is one, this means if it is a customer, then I am fetching the value from the users table here actually I am joining the users table and customers table based on which column the user ID column because the user ID column is common between users and customers table so based on this user ID column I am joining users table and customers table where user ID equals to dollar user ID this means the user ID which I will pass now after joining I am getting or I am selecting the following columns from the users table and customers table. What are the columns? Customer ID, user ID, customer first name, last name, profile image, customer email, customer status. Correct. And here the date on which the customer has created the account and I am formatting the date and after formatting the date I will get it in the date month year format. And from the users table, I am retrieving the role ID and the user mobile. Correct. After that, I am using the get method. So it will fetch all these columns from the tables. That is the users table and customers table. Now here I am checking if the get query count is greater than zero. This means based on this user ID and role ID, if the value is retrieved, so the count value will be greater than zero. If it is greater than zero, then I will give this response to the user in the user data the user details will be saved in the result i will pass success in message i am passing success but if it is not greater than zero this means the user is not found the user is not present in the table then in that case here i will pass user data blank because the user data is not retrieved the details is not present so here i am passing a blank array in the result, I am passing not found and in the message, I am giving the message as user not found. Correct. And in else, this else is for this if. If the role ID is not present, then again the user data, user data will be blank. The result will be not found and in the message, I am passing invalid role. Correct. Now all these codes I have written inside try block. Now while connecting with the database, if some kind of exception occur, then it will come to this cache block where again in the user data I am passing blank, in the result I am passing error and in message I am passing something went wrong. Now the API which I have created, let me test it with Postman. 
in the post pane you can see that localhost 82 why 82 because my xamp is running in port number 82 after that the project name which i have given as multi store then public after that api now here let me show you in the api.php all the routes is present that is in routes folder you can see api.php here i have created this root get root get user details okay and whenever this root will be called then it will call the get user details function of the app controller so here i am passing api slash get user details then i am passing role id and user id now if i hit send then you can see based on this role id and user id it is giving me the user details the user data contains the user data in the result success is displayed in the message success is displayed correct now suppose i am passing the user id as 10 now this user id is not present now if i hit on send then you can see user data is blank the result is not found and it is giving the message as user not found fine now suppose here i am passing again user id 1 then i am getting the details now i am passing the role id as 10 which is not present in the table now if i hit on send then you can see it is giving the message in valid role this is how i have created this api to fetch the user details based on user id and role id that's it for today's video don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching